color can change the consumer perspective of a brand uh, is very powerful and makes uh, a consumer feel differently about the brand's personality. Picking a color, using a color is probably the most simple um, tool that you will use in design, but it can be so strong at the same time. If you have a very positive experience around a color, you will find yourself always enjoying that color. And uh, that is reflected into my work because then I will use very bright colors and very colorful things. And sometimes there's no reason. It just looks beautiful, it just looks right. I found myself taking pictures of a lot of things. Just being on the street can be so inspiring. When colors are in contrast, it feels that one elevates the other. When you have the sensibility to look at the beauty of that color combination, you know you want to take a picture. You know you want to go back to the studio and be like, I'm going to try that. My choices visually are inspired by my personal choices. Every design I create has to send the right message. It's almost trying to have a sensibility again regarding being respectful of, of all the people around us. So sometimes some people think that designers and artists have two different rules. I think that we can mix it up a little and loosen up the labels and the tags. Of course, design is, is inspired by art, is a product of art, but with a purpose, we need to make sure that the message is sent in the right way. Picking the right color can take two seconds, as much as three hours. <laughs> it's a very simple gesture, it's a very simple action that really can change the campaign around. I don't believe that there's a right or a wrong in branding. Uh, there's just something that look good and work around the ethos of the company. By understanding the ethos means that we work around what the campaign needs. Colors tend to belong to experiences. By using some certain colors, you can still give that message away of being positive, feeling good. You know, have a smile on your face. <laughs>